My name's Aaron Croman, an independent artist with three comic books under my belt, and I'm here to help you with how to make flashbacks with your comics. First of all, you need to know how, what a normal page looks like. So we started all, we have the pages, have the little gutters in between. And all little different sizes and everything. And uh, yeah, this is what probably what your general page looks like, of course. Each one looks different depending on the story and what's going on. But now we have our flashbacks. Uh, we flashbacks show uh, what uh, happened previously to our hero or heroine. Or, uh, but how, how do we make them know that it's the past? How we know it's something that happened before? Well, we have our normal looking panels. Well, then uh, we want to do something like, like uh, make the panels uh, have a little wobbly uh, border or something to show that it's, you know, from memory and it's a little fuzzy and hazy. It's what they're, from their past. Or uh, even when we're doing a page uh, and we can have dark gutters. We can shade them a different color and, and make it look uh, dark from the past and everything. So. Sometimes a flashback isn't needed. Sometimes having the character explain it themselves and seeing the emotions on their face says more than enough. Uh, we can also, another thing we can do is we can even uh, just take a normal panel and then we can shade it a little. And there's, and there's tons of things you can do. You can make the borders fuzzy uh, like a cloud. Uh, just anything to make the normal panels look different from the, the ones that go into past. Properly used flashbacks can be effective in telling the life story that needs to be seen rather than heard. My name's Aaron Croman. Good luck with your comic.